Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And my name is Julieta, as you already know. And uh, this is going to be the first video of a series of five where I'm going to show you how I do the portrait of the amazing actor Sidney Portier. And this portrait is going to be done in charcoal pencils. I will show you all the materials that you're going to need. And in this first video, what we're going to be doing is the Chenor, um, <laughs> the general shading of a face. Yeah, excuse me, I'm Argentinian. My first language is Spanish, so this happens. So yeah, general shading of a face in charcoal pencils. And I will show you exactly how to start a portrait. So this is what we're going to cover in this video. And please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and write any comments or questions that you might have below. Because that way I also learn and I also help you with anything you need. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're starting to film and this is the outline of the new portrait that is um, the actor Sidney Poitier. I'm probably saying it wrong, but... So the first thing we're going to do is just lay the, um, the important shading, the general one. We're not going to do like specifics, we're just going to lay um, the important ones. So what I'm looking for right now is what I brought, but I don't see it. Where in the world did I put it? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so we're going from general to specific. So this is the first thing we're going to use. This is the sandpaper, one of the many sandpapers. And we're going to use the charcoal because this is a portrait that is going to be done with charcoal. So what we're going to do, we're going to sand it right here and create a lot of um, charcoal powder. I'm not going to do it on top of the drawing for obvious reasons. And here I just tested a little bit of uh, charcoal pencil. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. If you can hear the sound, this is some beautiful charcoal paper. I mean, uh, <laughs> some beautiful... Um, sandpaper. Now this is my magic thing. This is just a tissue. So what I'm going to do, I'll just take a little bit of, um, but it has, this cannot be wrinkled. It has to be like as smooth of, you know, as smooth of a surface as possible. So I'm going to take some of the charcoal powder and just lay it in the areas where there is supposed to be shading. It's always safer to try it in areas that is not going to make much of a difference, like on the hair, for example, that's something that we can fix. So as we can see, it's starting to work. It looks really nice. So maybe now that we're kind of safe, we can start going a little bit towards the face very gently. We don't want to go too, like all at once in one place. Everything has to be gentle. Everything has to be like just general. Very soft, very, not like just applying one thing, like very strongly in one area, because that's the way the skin is. Skin is just uniform, it's something that doesn't have um, just contrasts that are too exaggerated. So it has to be soft. So now we're gonna apply a little bit more charcoal paper straight from the sandpaper. Again, same thing as I did before. Let's start applying in an area that is not going to be too much, that is actually the jacket. So now we're going to apply it on his face. Same principle, very mildly, very gently, not, up, not pressing too hard, because what we want is just a smoky, smoky, um, what do you call it? Smoky effect. You don't want something that is going to look strange or not natural. That's what I'm trying to say. This is kind of how it ends. Now it's like we have a nice um, surface that is more uniform to apply. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna just keep going a little bit more. I think we're kind of safe to Oh, a little bit like this. I mean, all of this can be fixed if necessary, but this is just the very first layer and we want to put just where the basic shading is going to be. 
And I really like this paper. It's not necessarily charcoal paper, but it's, um, what's it called? Um, Bristol. It's a very, very soft surface that I like a lot for this that I'm doing right now. This is what we want to achieve. You see, like, this line right here is just one of my, my little traces just to know where some of the shading is going to be later on. But this is kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for a very smooth transition of grays that at this point is still very uniform, obviously. So this is going to happen with the tissue, obviously. At some point, it's going to start, like, peeling because it's a very delicate surface. So we're going to keep going. Can you hear the scorpions in the background? <laughs> I love that band, man. Okay. Again, we're going to create some more charcoal powder. Yeah, I love that song. Okay. Now, there's a lot of charcoal here, so I'm going to just... There we go. So I'm going to apply... There we go. So obviously at this point it's not looking like realistic yet. But we're laying the foundation, trust me. Trust me on this. Just make sure that the layer is as uniform as possible. That's all we want. What's wrong with the music? Not cool, man. Not cool. I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more here in the head. We're gonna do a You see? So again, this is something that we use for very large areas. <laughs> now it looks like a big smudge, but it will all make sense, trust me. Very good. As you notice, you can probably notice I'm leaving some of the areas that will have the highlights. I'm leaving those kind of like untouched because that's where the light of the face is going to be. So far, the area that looks a little bit more with contrast is just here, this area here of the forehead because there is some shading there. So this is just the whole purpose of this. Apply uniform layer of charcoal powder. I'm giving him a facial or something. Now, now that these things are kind of done, a little bit. Actually, I'm probably gonna put just a little bit more over here, but that's it. <laughs> Excuse me. Some people like to go by, you know, sections. I don't. I like to go from general to specific altogether to have a better picture of what I'm working on. Otherwise, if you work in sections, you only see little portions, but you don't see the whole picture, you know? So this is kind of what it looks like when you start like putting, um, just scratching the charcoal stick onto the sandpaper. It's very cool. And then you just transfer it to, in this case, the tissue. So now, since I have a whole bunch, I'm just going to put a little bit more here. This will all be done later. It's going to be very nice and put together. Now we're just doing laying a foundation, like I put in every single one of my videos, laying the foundation. I think that's probably my broken record phrase. Well, now you're seeing live what it's like to lay a foundation. There we go. Now, just for simple purposes, 
what I will do now, I'm just going to show a little bit of, um, well, this is, I think I want to stop here just to show the basic um, introduction of how I lay charcoal powder for, to work on it more specifically later on. So this is basically the idea. I'm going to stop it right now and then I'm going to move on to the next um, step.